Hey guys, it's Brad M73 and I'm back with Euro Simulator 2. And we're once again picking up where we left off. Uh, we're going to go to the job market and we are going to go from Frankfurt to Köln. Köln? I'm not really sure how that's pronounced, but uh, yeah. So Frankfurt to Köln and I just want to kind of see what else is available out here. Geneva, is that Geneva? No, Geneva's down there. Brook, okay. Well, we want our goal right now is to try to make as much money as possible. Uh, we've got just over 21,000 euros, uh, 21,500 euros. So this is going to put us up to about, uh, what, close to 27,000. And we will get give us a new... Um, a new destination to visit. That's a pretty scene. I've got new mail. You've got mail. We can help you grow by giving you money. Your credit limit was raised to $5 trillion. Not really, but you know. Okay, let's get on the road here. 220 kilometers, so that'll be a fairly quick trip. And it's raining, which I don't like. But at least the sun is out. Uh, we got to turn our lights on, too. <clears throat> There's some buildings over there. Must be downtown Frankfurt. I remember... When I was a child, I visited Frankfurt. Went to went to Germany as part of a group, and our first stop was in Frankfurt. <clears throat> and it was the first time being out of the country, you know, out of the United States. Um, we were, you know, it was a bunch of us kids. I think we were eleven years old, and. Um, We stayed in this hotel, and it was called the Mag Hotel. It was M-A-G, Mag Hotel. And I thought it was like the worst hotel on the planet. Um, the, the rooms were more like dormitory rooms. They weren't really like a hotel room. And it just was not a... It wasn't a nice, comfortable place you know, to spend the night. It was just miserable. I remember the roommate that I had at the time. He was basically crying all night. You know, we were 11 year old kids. I was fine, but, you know, this kid is like crying because he was away from his parents and everything. And But it was my first night in Germany as an 11 year old boy. And, uh, oh, it was just a nightmare. Um, and it seemed like we stayed there for two nights. It might have just been the, the first night, but it, for some reason I want to say we were there for two days. And, um, and it was, you know, after that we stayed in, you know, really nice hotels and never had that problem again. But, um, yeah, it was called the Mag Hotel. And to this day, I, I wonder if that hotel is still there. I'd be shocked if it was, but um, I always wonder about it. That was a fun trip. We went to, uh, where all did we go? We went to Frank, or no, we went from, we were, went to Frankfurt, we went to Munich, we went down to Salzburg, um, we went to the Nischwanstein Castle, I remember. Uh, we went, let's see, we went all across uh, Austria, too. Our, the final destination was Vienna, and um, we were in Vienna for several days, almost, I think we were there for five days, um, and got to tour around Vienna, and um, and then we kind of came back uh, along the route that we took, back to Frankfurt to fly back to, to the United States, and... Um, 
It was a really fun trip. I had a lot of fond memories from my childhood from that trip. Uh, so definitely a fun time. So I guess in that respect, I'd always kind of had a, a fondness for, for Germany. Um, and I've always kind of been interested in World War II history as well. Um, you know, with the Germans and the Allies and everything. And, you know, I don't hold a grudge or anything like that. So, um, whoa, what was going on with that sign? Almost look, let me see if this next sign is doing it. Well, that that time it looked all right. <clears throat> looks like the look the yeah look looks like the textures bugged out. I wonder if it has to do with the rain. That's weird. My computer's exploding. I can't handle all the textures. No, I'd be worried. No, but look. Let's see here. I'll wait till we find some more street signs. Or some, you know. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the <laughs> it looks like the texture is like kinda bugging out because of the rain. Oh, that's weird. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Woo! Almost went careening off the road there. And the rain is the rain in this game is, is pretty well done. Um, <clears throat> Maybe it could be a little bit more realistic on the windshield, but, you know, overall, if you just turn the wipers off and you drive for a while, you know, it's like driving in a real car. You can't really uh, see very clearly, so it gets annoying rather quickly. So we'll, we'll turn the wipers back on. And, oh, my favorite part. Boy, that, that texture, yeah, you can really see it there. Huh. I've not had that happen before. Time to get a new computer. Oh good, it stopped it's stopped the rain stopping. Okay. doesn't sound like a horn it sounds more like something else is this guy trying to make a left or what is he doing he's just like being a mr nice guy and letting everybody off the exit ramp there we go gosh finally what is this doesn't the three doesn't the three traffic have the right of way i think i discussed this previously in one of my other episodes do the people coming off the exit ramps have the right of way in Europe? Uh, in the United States, they don't. You'd have to stop. You'd have, you know, you'd have to stop at the end. Yeah, look at the texture there. It's like all messed up. Dun dun dun. Uh -oh. Well, that side of the sign was fine. All right. Yeah, so, you know, somebody let me know what the deal is with the right-of-way there because those cars come flying off the exit ramp. They have they don't even stop. They pull right out in front of you, <clears throat> even if you're on a, you know, inevitable collision course. So, um, you know, they that might be the way it works over there. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I didn't think so, but whatever. I don't think you have to stop there, um, you know, for, 
you know, if, if, you know, for example, if you clear your, you know, clear left or clear right, and there's no cars coming, I don't think you actually have to stop in all cases. But um, I didn't think they actually had the right of way, like like they appear to in this game. So yeah, somebody let me know if they if they know. Ah, so uh, we just drove through a storm, and it's turned out to be a nice day now. And we're driving through some uh, sunflower fields here. Not through them, but past the sunflower fields. And we got 88 kilometers to go, so we don't have uh, terribly, terribly far to go. And we're just enjoying the drive. Eh, it's kind of hard to drive outside of the truck like this. Scania. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that was close. I've been through closer, but... Yeah, that and that's why... That's why I wish there was like a hold lane key or something where it would just, you know... Maybe for 30 seconds it would just... You know, you could hit a button... And it would hold the lane so that you could kind of enjoy some of the scenery. And and again, I think I mentioned before, I can imagine that there would be some people that would take advantage of it and basically write autopilot scripts. See what the hell? What the heck is that? What is that over there? What is that? Is it a mine? I've never seen anything like that before, so I don't know what the heck that place was back there. Looked like a, you know, like a gravel facility or, you know, like a dirt plant or something like that, but it almost looked like a mine because of those big towers. Like, you know, maybe they, maybe they're like ele parts of elevators where they lift dirt out of the earth. I don't know. That's... Haven't seen that before. And yeah, there's an old school windmill up there. That's kind of nice. Now, how the heck do they stack hay like that? It's really interesting. I've never seen that. Not even in the real world. But it's kind of cool looking. But yeah, I've never seen uh, haystack like that before. Here in the States, it's pretty much either square bales or round bales. Like the really giant round bale, you know, the round balers. And that's about it. <coughs> Stokes. So I've been thinking about installing like a real real world company uh, texture pack um, I don't know if I would get into trouble on YouTube for doing that or not um, I wouldn't think so but you never know um, but yeah there's a there's a couple texture packs that have like <coughs> DHL and Aldi and um, a few other you know real world companies and I thought about uh, uh, installing one of those to give it a try kind of give give it a more of a real world feel which would be kind of nice and uh, see how that goes Ooh, 50 kilometers an hour Better slow down just a little bit no I need to speed up a little bit 11 kilometers and oh, this will be another short short trips so maybe we'll do another maybe we'll do one more um, episode after that or one more um, uh, delivery after this so we can do another long you know another long episode for you guys because I appreciate uh, appreciate you guys it's fun for me too but um, yeah I know I know a lot of people that uh, that enjoy watching the the let's play videos especially the simula simulators like this 
um, they do enjoy watching some of the longer videos. So, um, so yeah, um, tell me what you guys want. You know, if you want something short and sweet, I can do that. And if you uh, want something longer, I can do that as well. And um, and I'm here for you guys. All right, so there is another mystery box up here to the right. So I am going to stop first. <laughs> Um, I'm going to make a right, and we're going to go unlock that. Maybe it's a recruitment agency. Maybe it's not. I can't remember what level I just leveled up to. Did I just level up to level 3? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm at level three. Let's see what. Um, come on. Finery. Finally. Oh, go, 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 go. see what is this yep just a recruitment agency but that's cool because I'll have a larger pool of drivers to choose from when I go to do all my recruiting hopefully we'll get some halfway decent drivers come on So where are we now? Köln, I think. Köln, Germany. <gasps> Blah! Okay, we're going to get a ticket. Oh, phew. Man. That was close. See, there's one of those towers I was talking about off in the distance there. Kind of to the top left of the screen. I want to say they're called like Euro Towers or something. You can kind of see it out there on the horizon. Um, yeah, they have them at, in different cities across uh, Europe. I don't know if it's like a like a Germany thing or if it's a all of Europe thing, but um, I always thought that was cool. I wish we had something like that in my city where you know you could go up and you know there'd be an observation deck or a you know, restaurant or something like that. But we don't. We just have a building that you can go up and go to the top of and you're standing out in the bitter cold and whatever rain or whatever happens to be happening that day. I want to drive across that bridge and we're not allowed to. Darn you, Euro Truck Simulator. Darn you to heck. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe somebody will create a mod which will allow you to open up some of the roads. That would be cool. I'd buy that for a dollar. Actually, I probably would. All right, so pause speed. All right. So here we go. I don't have a whole lot of room to park this, but we'll get it in there. Look at that, I make it look easy. All right. 
we got some money. Uh, looks like it might take us a couple more uh, deliveries to get up to level four. So let's see what our job market's got for us. We'll try to do another um, another job here. 56, Frankfurt to Dortmund. Okay, let's see where else can we go? Yeah, I see some of these towns. Yeah, yeah, I think we can only choose jobs from towns we've been to before. Let's see Colm. Colm to Mannheim. So we're in Colm now, so we're going we go to Mannheim or Dusseldorf. That's kind of boring. Let's see here. No. Kassel, there's no jobs there. Frankfurt to Dortmund. Here, let me exit out of this and then go back in. See, I just want to see what the highest paying job was. Yeah, Frankfurt to Dortmund. All right, we'll take that one, I guess. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll uh, get tons of experience and get to level four. I don't think so, but <clears throat> let's try doing a speed run. Try to haul some. I try to do this. All right, we got 243 kilometers to go. Gotta make a left. Hey, there's one of those Euro Towers right there. I'm calling them, I'm gonna call them Euro Towers. I don't know what they're called, but that's what I'm gonna call them. <clears throat> Cause that's what I think they're, I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're called. We kind of just did this route, didn't we? Well, won't be exactly the same. Once we get out of uh, Frankfurt, it'll be a little bit different. Ah, uh, where's the mag? <clears throat> where's the mag hotel? Green light, green light. Let's go, 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 go. What are we driving? One of the Majestics, it looks like. Yep. All right. What is, I know that you can, I just discovered when I was reading through the manual the other day that you can hit the B key for to do engine braking and I'm not really sure what the advantage of doing that is um, because it doesn't really seem like it brakes very much I mean I, I would assume that it's just just like it is in a car you just you know let off the gas and <clears throat> the the friction in the the end you know the engine um, is what slows you down but it also puts back pressure on your pistons and I can't imagine that being a good thing um, I know in a, in a car it's generally not um, not the uh, the best way to brake a car um, in it you know it'll wear out your motor and so you know with a semi truck um, you know you've got a lot more weight and all that yeah see look at there the, the textures are still messed up huh that's weird I just saw it around this area around Frankfurt so I don't know maybe it's a bug in the game that the textures are messed up around Frankfurt I don't after a while it I didn't see that anymore so um, yeah anyway back to engine braking yeah I can't imagine it being like very good on on a on your motor on your engine come 
Come on, you slow coach. Get up to 90. Uh, slowly but surely, we're getting up there. There we go. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious uh, to ask uh, those of you from Europe who happen to be watching the video and who may be familiar with uh, some of the routes. Um, you know, how close are these routes to the real world? Um, not 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 specifically the routes themselves but more or less the the scenery i guess you know how accurate uh is the scenery um you know in the game as far as you know what you would see along the routes um you know obviously the the, the time scale and the distance scale is kind of compressed uh you know to make it a viable uh you know pc game uh, you know, it's not really like a flight simulator. Flight simulators are pretty much one-to-one. -one, but with a driving simulator, you know, it would take probably thousands of man-hours to, you know, create such a huge simulation. And I'm just kind of curious, like, what, you know... You know, is this... Is this kind of the correct scenery around uh, Frankfurt? Because I know it, I know up around Berlin um, and Hanover and Magdeburg, um, the uh, the terrain in the real world it's pretty flat up there. I mean, there's no, not really much uh, as far as you know rolling hills and things like that. And um, where in Eurotruck Simulator, uh, there there seems to be you know kind of a you know a much you know, it, it's it's kind of like this, you know, like we're driving through right now. Um, so, you know, to me that didn't really feel authentic, but um, uh, I'm just kind of more curious about other places, especially places I haven't been to or haven't, um, you know, experienced before. Um, I might actually, I might actually pause the, well, no, I think I'll... I think I'll disregard the, the my annoyance with these textures and um, we'll uh, we'll restart. Uh, I don't. I wonder. I'm kind of wondering if it's a computer issue or uh, the game probably just needs to be re reloaded. I don't know why I would get like the weird textures like that. That's bizarre. First time I've seen that. First time I've seen it is with you guys. So don't you feel special that my PC is like crumbling in front of your eyes? <laughs> yeah, I've got an Asus G G73 laptop, and actually I was just at, at the computer store the other day, and um, I saw the new version of the Asus. Um, it you know I don't I don't know what it was called. I don't think it's called a G73 anymore, but it was basically the same computer that I've got now, but you know two two and a half years later and uh and it was really nice except it had windows 8 on it which made me want to pull out a gun and shoot myself not literally but figuratively and uh i oh my gosh i i hate windows 8 i just absolutely loathe it i you know windows 7 is fine uh windows 8 makes me want to projectile vomit and not in a good way not that there are good ways to projectile vomit, but if you can imagine all the bad scenarios of having to projectile vomit, you know, pick about three of your worst and choose from that um, to to uh, <laughs> to uh, describe uh, my distaste with Windows 8. Um, I don't know. It, to me, it's kind of like Windows Vista was. It, it w Windows Vista was a steaming pile of crap i mean it it was just awful and you know windows 7 basically fixed everything that was wrong with v, the you know with vista and and windows 7 for you know by and large has been incredibly stable it's kind of like the the new version of xp um, and xp was pretty stable um that being said i generally only use my pc anymore for 
a, a small, you know, segment of applications that I can't run on my Mac. Um, uh, I, I kind of transitioned to Mac a little bit of uh, about a year and a half ago, and um, you know, I do a lot. I I do a lot of photography, uh, do some video editing and things like that. I'm not tremendously great at video editing as a matter of fact i'm just doing these movies and iMovie on my mac but it's it's so much easier to to do that on my mac than it is on this p on, on a pc um and uh and and I, and I just enjoy the the mac experience you know you know people might make fun of me for using a mac i don't really give a care you know i don't really care um you know, just one thing is is just surfing the web. It is a completely different experience than it is on a PC. Um, it's it's faster. It's generally more stable. You don't have to worry about you know getting viruses every ten seconds. Um, I mean, you just it it's just a, a a cleaner experience and. And I can understand people's frustrations with, you know, Apple being much more closed off about their ecosystem um, than than Windows. But, um, you know, I, a lot can be said for the user experience. And, and I have to say that, you know, for 90% of the things that I do, a Mac works absolutely flawlessly all the time, every time. Um and I, I can't say that I've always enjoyed that uh, that same level of uh, you know of stability on my PC. Um, you know, when, and, and again, Windows Seven, you know, games and all, you know all kinds of things run much much better on, on Windows Seven. But um, but yeah, so it looks like we are coming into where do we go? Dortmund? Yeah, Dortmund. Um, yeah, see, we got some pine trees and some, I don't know, whatever trees those are. And um, I don't know if this is, you know, very accurate to the way Dortmund is. It might be. Um, anyway, it's nice scenery to drive through. We don't have too many pine trees here in here where I'm from and um, yeah oh I'm gonna cut this dude off sorry man but I see a question mark up here to my right and I want to unlock it actually we got two to unlock so one's probably a dealer and one is probably a um, uh, recruitment agency so So yeah, so we'll go up here. We'll unlock this. Yeah, it looks like it's a is it a man dealer? Man dealer? I guess if you want to go and buy a man, you can go there. I'm already a man, so I don't need to buy one. You know, playing this game on a laptop and just using the keypad is really not that bad. Um, and I like the fact that I can just take the touchpad and look around pretty, you know, pretty quickly and easily. Um, I actually like that. Wouldn't want to play a flight simulator like that, but um, yeah. Alright, and so that was the man dealer. And this is probably going to be a recruitment agency up here. And I hope we can unlock it without having to make a left. Yay! Alright. Alright, so we'll just drive around the block and do our delivery and... There's another one of them towers. There's another one. See, there's like one in all, like almost every major city in Germany. And I want to know what they're called. Please, somebody let me know. Yeah. 
Ah, stop. That was close. I won't even be able to see the... Okay, here we go. Now, I wouldn't be able to do that in the real world. I wouldn't be able to, you know, just... Suddenly float behind my semi truck to see what the what color the turn signal was. Um, but would it be nice if we had that ability just to hit our hit our you know our number two key and suddenly float behind our vehicles to see if uh, see what the turn signal was or what the uh, signal was. All right, we're gonna cut in front of these cars. Sorry, guys. We're in a hurry. This is a speed run. Let's see how fast we can park this puppy without pulling straight in. Uh, whoop, up, a little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. All right. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Bah, I'm going to hit it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I wish... Look at that. <laughs> I'm, like, barely touching the fence. Let's see if the fence will, like, fall down through the earth again. Look at the fence jumping around up there a little bit. Oh. Sometimes... I, I had that happen once where I bumped the fence and it literally fell through the ground. <laughs> that killed me. That was funny. Alright, so 331 more XP and we are just shy of level 4. And let's see, what are we up to? Okay, 32... Man, we are getting really close to buying our truck. Let's see what how much our next job is going to pay. So about about the same as last time. Dijon to Metz. That's uh, and I everything would be great if I uh, could uh, not knock my uh, headset off. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna. Well, let's see. I'm gonna look at the bank. Yeah, so for every hundred thousand dollars you borrow, you have to pay twenty eight eighty seven a day. So we're gonna we're gonna make that now as it is. Heck, we could just do these quick jobs and you know make make some money. But again, I want to get up to about fifty thousand before I borrow my first hundred thousand. So um, and I think what I'm gonna do. Let's go to let's look at some truck dealers. Um, go to our Valiant dealer. I, I I don't know why, but I I am kind of gravitating more towards the Valiant because they uh, they seem to have a little bit more horsepower than than a lot of the other brands. I, I don't know if that's true, but um, well, I, I I know it's true because I've compared it. But, um, yeah, see, like, this one starts out, oh, 600 horsepower, yeah. So this one's got a ton of horsepower. Um, it's got, you know, some pretty decent engine torque with some other brands. And look, it's only 100,000. So it's not terribly expensive. Um, you know, you can go up, you know, this one's 700 horsepower, 3,100. Uh, uh, NM, is that Newtons per meter? It's kind of like foot pounds of torque, I guess. We say foot pounds. That I think that's newtons per meter. And maybe it's not, but I'm gonna guess that. And hopefully, I'm not an idiot for, for thinking that. But um, ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, 190. Can't afford that yet. 47, 192, 
And yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one starting off. Let's see, what was the difference between that one? Okay, 800 fuel tank. 800 plus 600. That one's 800 plus 600. I shift is. Yeah, they all have the same gearbox. 2800 newtons per meter, 2800. Yeah, so this one just lo it looks like it's pretty much the same thing. Just a different paint job. Oh, and it's got the um, it's got the fairing around the gas tank it's on the left, you know, on the bottom over here. So if we go and compare this one, it doesn't have that. Um, we can you can eventually put it on there. I mean, you can paint these and upgrade them and do all kinds of things. Um, hmm. How much would a? Let's see here. It's well, I can't. Oh, that's right. I can't upgrade the engine until level ten anyway. Um. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe in the next uh, episode we will buy our truck and we'll start earning some uh, some more money. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I am Brad M73 and once again this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, please give me a like. Uh, I apologize for sounding stuffy again. Um, I've kind of just have like a little nasally thing going on and um, hopefully that'll get resolved in a day or so. So um, thanks again for watching guys. Again, please send me a like, uh, please uh, subscribe. Um, it definitely helps me out and I definitely appreciate, uh, uh, appreciate all the support. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments. I do read them all. I try to respond to uh, all of them directly if possible. So um, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.